Albert and Sarah, I thank you for your example, for reminding us what the love of God can do in our lives when we give him permission to work. I know that you both love God, each other, and the Ohio State Buckeyes with all of your hearts. And if you continue to do that, in that order, Albert, in that order, I know that you'll have a long and happy and fulfilled life together. So for a long time I thought about what this speech was going to entail, so I decided to go with sentimental because that's what you two are. So there's four of us in our family, and it's actually really cool to grow up with four of the same people. They're just different versions of you, and that is the best part of having a sister that is so different, is that you learn from each other, you grow with each other, and you put up with each other. On to Albert. The first time I met him, he actually strolled into a bar that Sarah and I were out at, and he was like, okay, so how do I get in with your dad? I said, the person you actually have to impress is me. So in closing, just a little marriage advice. If you want something to last, you treat it differently. You shield it, you protect it, you never abuse it. You do not expose it to the elements. You do not make it common or ordinary. If it ever becomes tarnished, you lovingly polish it until it gleams like new. It becomes special because you have made it so. And so it grows more beautiful and precious as time goes by. You guys all know Sarah and I very well, but you probably don't know the exact story of how we met. So I'm going to kind of start it off here. So, uh, so it all started in 2015, April 11, 2015. When I was at the uh, gym working out. I hopped in the elevator, and uh, this b- a beautiful little uh, blonde bombshell was in the elevator with three kids. I'm like, how can this cute little girl have three kids? And she, can I ask her out? I thought she was pretty, and I know what to do. I didn't think much of it. So I was in the gym working out a little bit, and I said, you know what? Let's take some chances. I'm going to ask her out. I'm going to ask this girl out, right? Working out, an hour and a half goes by, and I'm like, when's this girl coming back? Eventually, she's got to come back, right, these kids. What felt like two and a half hours comes. She comes through the door. Wouldn't she know I lose my courage? I I, I got scared. I I couldn't ask her out. Basically, a month later, May 2nd comes up at Cap City Marathon. And obviously, I'm with Panera Bread, so we hand out bagels at 4 or 5 in the morning. I'm I'm passing out bagels, and this beautiful blonde girl strolls through. I said, that girl looks familiar. And I kept handing out bagels. And a couple minutes later, I saw her again for a second time. Then, it, then a third time. I'm like, why is that girl, that blonde girl look so familiar? I said, that's the girl from the condo a month ago. Holy cow. I, mean, I, I got to take advantage of this, right? So I go out and look for Sarah. And she's wearing a blue shirt like 20,000 people were wearing a blue shirt. So like a needle in a haystack, right? All of a sudden, I see her coming at me with her friends. I'm like, okay, I'll take advantage of this. Now, finally, she's coming to me, right? She comes at me. I lose my courage to ask her out again. I'm a nervous wreck, all right? I called my mom, actually, for advice. I, was, I look up, seventh time I see her. I run over to her. I literally ran, pushing people over. I don't know what I did, but I tapped on her. And I said, hey, I thought I said that. I thought I said, hey, I'm Albert Cabelli. I'd love to take you out sometime. I saw you at the condo a few weeks ago, nannying those kids. The next day, Monday, we went out on a date, right? Hit it off, and, and, and get, the rest is history, honestly. My 
Sweet Albert. We are here. Yes. Can you believe it? My heart is overflowing with love, joy, and hope. I'm so grateful that God chose you to be mine, as you're beyond my grandest hopes, biggest prayers, and wildest dreams. I'm so unbelievably proud of how confident you've become in yourself and in your relationship with the Lord. I undoubtedly have found the one my heart and soul loves. I love you, Albert. Truly, genuinely love you. I'm deeply appreciative to have a man filled with such godly love and selflessness. A man who will go above and beyond to make sure everyone is cared for, especially me. As you continue to be my biggest supporter and now take on a role as the leader of our family, know that I am always and will always be here to stand strong by your side, selflessly honoring and serving you with eternal joy. For the rest of my life, I promise to cherish you with my whole heart, appreciate you and listen to you, even when I stubbornly disagree or know that I'm right. <laughs> I promise to be kind and tender-hearted, remembering to do all things with love. I promise to be patient as love demands and to live a a life of humility, giving glory to God in all of circumstances. I promise to be your loving and faithful wife, in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, through all of life's trials. Albert, you're my best friend, my soulmate, and my biggest supporter. You're an absolute blessing in my life. You've been the most amazing fiance thus far. There's no doubt in my mind that you'll be an incredible husband and a remarkable father. I cannot wait to begin this journey together. Let's never forget, God has joined us together, so nothing can separate us. I love you. just want to thank you all for coming here, making the journey down here to be witnesses to this wonderful occasion of uh, the marriage of my daughter, Sarah, my little Cinderella, and Albert, who just may be her prince. After hearing his vows today and your devotion to my daughter, it just cannot get any better, and that's all I can ask for. Sarah, there's not a doubt in my mind, you're my guardian angel sent from above. Every day I pray with gratitude that you're in my life. From the moment we met, you turned my world upside down. You taught me how to be a real man. You taught me about pure love, joy, and happiness. You taught me about loving Christ. 
Even though you are little, your heart is larger than life. Your love for life is infectious. Your smile lights up a room, and your soul beams joy, happiness, and cheer. You're truly selfless, giving, genuine, caring, loving, kind, sweet, cute, and beautiful from the inside out. <laughs> I promise to honor, respect, and love you until my last breath. I promise to put you second, only to Jesus Christ, and to keep him at the center of our relationship. I promise with you by my side to grow closer in faith with Christ each and every day. I promise to lead you, protect you, serve you, fulfill my duties as a family shepherd. I promise to never take you for granted, to appreciate you, to be faithful to you, and to continuously be grateful for this life and all of our blessings. I promise to sing, laugh, and dance with you like no one is watching. I promise to root for you, inspire you, encourage you, cheer for you, and be your number one fan. I promise to work on my imperfections every day, to wake up a better man than the day before, a man that loves more, prays harder, and smiles deeper. I promise even in tough times to pick you up and to continue to love you deeply with everything that I have. I look forward to a lifetime of happiness where we can love one another just as Christ loved us. And finally, I look forward to a lifetime of love because love never fails. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. And I will always love you where you are. Standing here together with your hand in mine, I want to know what forever feels like.